Hello, it's John Neal here. It's uh, Sunday the 23rd of June 2024, and here it is, the quiz you've all been waiting for, Nuneaton's very own Name That Roof. Don't worry, I haven't started yet. That was just a taster. Here, let me explain. This is the idea. I'll show you the roofs of various buildings here in the wonderful town of Nuneaton and see if you can identify the buildings before I reveal them at the end of the clip. Okay, are you ready? So here we go, here's the first roof. What's this one? The company have all the same buildings, so they're all the same, I presume. And it's Lidl, of course. Well done if you got that one. I was very keen to get this roof documented because this building is due to be demolished tragically and it's the Nuneaton Library. And on to the next building. This is just opposite side of the road. It's quite a new building and it's got a very nice roof too. Quite an impressive building overall. And of course it is, it's the close. On to the next one. If you've never looked up, this is quite an impressive building and that tower at the top is yeah, very notable. And of course, it's the Town Hall. This building was built over 100 years ago easily and it's had a number of occupants as well. If somebody can tell me what the uh, three letters on the front, is that G, C, W, C? I don't know what it is. It used to be a police station. On to another new build, and this is a curved roof, and probably given it away already, look. Yep, it's the rope walk. Now we're going a bit ecclesiastical, and this is an old building again, and right next door to the rope walk. And it is, of course, United Reformed Church. There are not many roofs in Nuneaton which have a shed on the top. I'm not sure whether this building's coming down or not, but it straddles the river anchor. And of course it is, wait for it, Debenhams. This is a building that started the whole project off for me because it's just a fascinating roof. There are 200 solar panels on top of this roof on a building which is used for many things, originally built as a cinema, but now is, of course, Empire Gym and Studios. Well, as you can see, we're quite close to uh, Nuneaton Railway Station, but come on, name that roof. It's Dunelm. Well, it's good fun, isn't it? We're still in the town centre and this has got a bit more of an industrial look about it, which is appropriate because it is, of course, quick fit. The camera is zoomed in because I'm not flying directly over the top of this wonderful building, which of course is Warwickshire Justice Centre. A fine building too. Next we have a building which is definitely going to be demolished and it's warm, the windows are open, the birds are flying over the top and it is the Royal Mail, if I say sorting office, could be wrong. It's in Justice Walk anyway. We're over in Riversley Park now and here's a building which was going to be extended and then it wasn't and who knows. Anyway, as you can see it is of course the Riversley Park. Museum and Art Gallery. Moving on to this uh, two-storey building, which is a very nice tiled roof covering its corridors and rooms underneath. And of course it is 
the George Eliot Hospital. Moving along the dual carriageway, and here is one of the biggest industrial buildings around, and it is indeed Hello Fresh. Look at it, it's huge. Now we've swung around 180 degrees, and I'm looking down towards Gypsy Lane, and does this count as one of the biggest buildings that we've got in the area? It is absolutely huge, and it is, of course, Renus Logistics. Well, there you have it, folks. Name that roof, the Roofs of Nuneaton. I told you it's going to be an absolute winner. Tell me what you think in the comments below, OK? Thanks for watching, and you will see me next time. OK, bye-bye. That roof up there, wow. Great.